Hello everybody. In today's lecture, we'll talk about tooth numbering. The way we have our names to identify us, similarly, the teeth have been numbered to identify them. You see, this makes it very easy to talk about a specific tooth and to convey anything regarding it to someone else. There are three popular methods to number the teeth. We will discuss all of them in this lecture. I hope you find this lecture informative and you enjoy it. So let's go ahead. Let us first identify the various tooth surfaces. This is the anterior midline. Now the surface of the tooth towards the midline is called the mesial surface. And the surface away from the anterior midline is the distal surface. So this is mesial, this is distal. Mesial and distal. Now the surface towards the buccal mucosa of these posterior teeth, here and here, they are known as the buccal surfaces. You can see it here. For the anterior teeth, the surfaces towards the lip, upper and the lower, they are known as the labial surfaces. Now, the inside surface of the teeth, here you can see, which is towards the palate, they are the palatal surfaces. Similarly, for the lower teeth, the inside surfaces towards the tongue, they are known as the lingual surfaces. Now, occlusal surfaces, these are the masticating surfaces of the molars and the premolars. You can see it here. They are the occlusal surfaces. And for the anteriors, the functional edge of the anterior teeth, they are known as the incisal edges. You can see it here as well as here. So these are the various tooth surfaces. Now coming to tooth numbering systems. Now these systems were developed to ensure easy means of identifying individual tooth in the oral cavity. For example, right maxillary second molar. It describes the exact location of the tooth. Now the tooth numbering system will provide a shorter and a quicker alternative to this elaborate description of the tooth location in the oral cavity. It is so difficult. If you're talking to somebody, you point the finger in your mouth and you talk about right maxillary second molar. I mean, if you have to say something like one, six, so easy, so and so quick. So that's why these systems were developed. Now, the, there are three popular tooth numbering systems, the Zygmondi Palmer system, Universal Numbering System, and the Federation Dental International FDI system. The Zygmondi Palmer system. This is the oldest system and it was first described in 1861. It is also called the angular or the grid system because it used a grid to represent patient's four quadrants. Now you can see it here. This is the upper right, upper left, lower right and lower left. You can see it here. Upper right, upper left, lower left and lower right. Now the each tooth is identified by a different number. One starting from 1, 2, 3, 4 going on till 8. 1 represents the central incisor, 2 the lateral incisor, 3 canine, 4 first premolar, 5 second premolar and so on till the third molar. So we have 1 to 8 in each quadrant. You can see it 1 to 8 in each quadrant. So it is a very nice pictorial description of the teeth in different quadrants. Now if you see here if we come to this file that means it is right maxillary second premolar. Similarly this is left maxillary central incisor. So it's a very nice pictorial description of the various teeth in the mouth. The deciduous teeth are described by alphabets from A to E, starting from the midline and proceeding with the posterior region. A represents the central incisor. You can see it here. B, the lateral incisor. C, canine. D, first molar. And E, the second molar. Similarly, for all the quadrants, lower and upper quadrants. Now, advantages are 
the biggest advantage is that it is very easy to understand now you put it here you can see if you put one here so we know it is the right max dairy central incisor you put seven here we know it is the left mandibular second molar also it is very easy to differentiate between primary and permanent teeth one will be a mac will be a permanent tooth similarly alphabet a will be a primary tooth so very easy to differentiate between the two however at the same time it is very difficult to difficult to explain orally how do you draw the grid on explain it it is kind of difficult another thing is that the same number or alphabet is used to indicate the opposing or the contralateral teeth which can create confusion now this means if we have three like this this is the right maxillary three now opposing right mandibular three contralateral three so you have one number representing teeth in four different quadrants so that can create confusion coming to the next system now we are trying to overcome the problems which you were facing with the previous system this is a universal numbering system or american dental association system in this system the permanent teeth are numbered from 1 to 32 with each tooth having its own unique number and primary teeth are named from a to t with each tooth having its own unique letter so now we have identified every tooth with a separate number or a letter so permanent teeth were numbered from 1 to 32, primary from A to T. Now how did they do it? Now the permanent tooth numbering, it begins from the patient's right maxillary third molar. That is the number 1 here. This is right maxillary third molar. It is number 1. And it proceeds onwards till the entire maxillary arc coming to the opposite side third molar. That is number 16. Then we move downwards to the left mandibular third molar, which is number 17. And we proceed forwards and to the opposite side till the right mandibular third molar, which is number 32. So you can see each tooth has its own unique number. Number 8 is the right maxillary central incisor. Number 13 is the left maxillary second premolar. So number 23 is the left mandibular second lateral incisor. So now you can see you just have to take a number and you know exactly which tooth we are talking about. Now for the primary teeth, the tooth numbering, it begins from the patient's right maxillary second molar. That is here. This is number A. It is a right maxillary second molar. We proceed on till E, the right maxillary central incisor proceed further to the opposite side to the left maxillary second molar that is number j then we move downwards to the left mandibular second molar which is k move further to the right man mandibular second molar which is alphabet t so again just like the permanent each tooth has its own unique letter to describe it D is the right maxillary lateral incisor. Now the left maxillary lateral incisor is G. So a unique letter to describe each tooth. So very obviously the advantages are that each tooth is represented by its own unique number or letter. And it is easy to identify the tooth and to communicate. I just have to say it number 8 and you will understand I am talking about Maxley right central incisor and it can be easily used on the keyboards or computer charting and sharing and disadvantages again very obviously it is that individual tooth numbers and letters can be difficult to remember you can get confused with the numbers and it is difficult to memorize them coming to the next system Federation Dentaire International FTI system now this tooth numbering system is widely used internationally. It is developed by FDI World Dental Federation and it is quite popular in Canada and European countries. It was proposed by FDI and has been adopted by WHO and other organizations such as International Association for Dental Research. 
It is also referred to as the two-digit system. The first digit in the two-digit system denotes the quadrant and the second digit denotes the tooth. Coming to the permanent teeth. Each quadrant is numbered 1 to 4. Quadrant numbers are 1 is maxillary right, 2 is maxillary left, 3 is mandibular left, 4 is mandibular right. Coming to tooth numbers, within each quadrant the teeth are numbered starting from the midline and proceeding and posteriorly. The tooth number 1 is central incisor and number 8 is third molar. So from each, in each quadrant we have numbers 1 till 8. Coming to tooth designations, the two digits are pronounced separately. Now this is 1, 1. It is not 11. 1 represents the quadrant which is the right maxillary and this one represents the tooth number which is the incisor. So here 1, 2. 1 is right maxillary quadrant and 2 is lateral incisor. Here 2, 1. 2 is left maxillary quadrant and 1 is central incisor. 2, 2. So when we say that, we mean left maxillary lateral incisor. Similarly, 3, 1 is left mandibular quadrant and 1 is central incisor. 4, 1 is right mandibular central incisor. So you have followed two digits, one representing the quadrant and the other digit representing the tooth. For the primary teeth, each quadrant is numbered 5 to 8. The quadrant number 5 is maxillary right, 6 is maxillary left, 7 is mandibular left and 8 is mandibular right. Within each quadrant, the teeth are numbered starting from the midline and proceeding posteriorly like 1, 2, 5. 1 represents the central incisor and 5 represents the primary second molar. Now the tooth designations are same as permanent. The two digits are pronounced separately. This is 5, 1. 5 is right maxillary and this is primary central incisor. Similarly, 6, 3. 6 is left maxillary and 3 is primary canine. Now 7, 5 is left mandibular second molar. 8-4 is right mandibular primary first molar. So I hope you have followed the system. Now here it's examples of different tooth designations. 5-4-6-1-7-3-8-5. They have what I have explained in the previous slide. Very obviously the advantages are it is simple and easy to use. It is very easy to communicate orally. You just have to say 1-1 one, one or 5-1. It can be easily used on the keyboards for computer charting and sharing. Disadvantages are that it can be confused with a universal system. So now tooth numbering should be pretty easy and you should be able to use whichever system you find convenient. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do like and subscribe to this channel to see the latest uploads on dentistry. Also, you can check out the videos on occlusion if you wish to.